Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, this is Ricardo, your um, friendly tech expert. Well, not really expert, but um, tech enthusiast from Block Tech Tips. All right. Today we have we're going to attempt to replace the hard drive on this HP um, laptop. It's a like, um, specific model is a HP 15 and it's the 1003DX so that's the 103DX alright now things you'll need for this you'll need a you'll need a screwdriver you'll need a prizing um, tool that comes with your phone sets you'll need um, another type of screwdriver flathead and any small tip screwdriver that you can find alright Let's say Philips. Now, along with that, you'll need a replacement hard drive. We have here one here from um, Amazon. Right? You can see this is a Western Digital one terabyte. Now, what I got here is that this hard drive went bad. Um, in the interest of time, I've also pre-removed the screws. All right. So these are the screws that I have removed. Um, I'll show you exactly where they came from. All right. Let's go. Now, your first thing you can do is you remove all of these screws. All of these holes contain an individual screw. You must remove all of them. I'll show you each one. So one will go here. You'll remove this one, this one. Right? And you can also remove the back cover here. Now, the key screw would be this one. And it's marked as being the one that's holding the um, keyboard in place. Right? So make sure that one is removed. Also, you're going to remove the battery. All right? So... Make sure it's in an open position. This one is open now. And of course, you're gonna eject or remove the battery. All right, put that aside. When you remove all the screws, it's gonna loosen the um, it's gonna loosen the DVD drive. So you're gonna remove that as well, as the screws are clean. All right. Make sure you check all the holes to ensure that you have removed all them. You can remove the back cover. Here we have the RAM. And we have the Wi-Fi card. Now this one, unfortunately, is not an easy access, meaning that the hard drive is deep within the laptop, right? Now, key thing you want to aim for here too is you're going to look along here. And there are going to be three very small screws, right? They are different. They are not black as the regular and they are actually silver. So make sure with this particular model, which is one of the newer models, that you look for these three screws here. They're directly beneath the hard drive when it's removed, not sorry, the DVD drive when it's removed. So you're gonna remove them. You'll probably need a flatter tip screwdriver, right? And you're gonna remove those. Put them aside, right? Once that is done, when you have remove all of those screws, you're gonna turn over the laptop. All right, this is the front of the unit, the HP 15. All right, this allows, um, tutorial also work with other HP models and I said I've pre-removed the screws all right now for this section here what we're gonna attempt to do is we're gonna actually remove we're actually going to remove the keyboard now I've done this already so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get something with a blunt tip make sure you use something with um, a very fine hedge very very fine tipped um, flathead screwdriver would work something much flatter than this or something with just a blunt edge or a flat edge once you do that you're gonna get in here and you're gonna actually slightly there's some tabs beneath here you're gonna actually loosen these tabs then you're gonna run this along here until the entire section here lifts once you do that you're gonna lift this section out now it's gonna be attached to the board right around here as I said I've already removed it show you where it was attached it was attached right here like this all right And what you're gonna do here is that there's a black tab. You're gonna push it upwards. So you're gonna use your finger, you're gonna pry it up. That's up towards you, all right? Or vertically, all right? Direct up, and it's gonna actually pop open. Now, most of these tabs actually have the black on this section. But for some reason, this model has it on the, the opposite side. So always aim for the black tab and lift it up. Once you lift it up, the ribbon cable will be loose, and you're gonna actually move it out. Also, when you're lifting, make sure that you don't yank it up as it's down in there very tightly. So you're gonna take a little time, you're gonna flip it over without lifting it too high and then flip the top up. Alright, once this is removed, this is the keyboard. 
So if you are doing a keyboard replacement or this hard drive replacement, this is where you'd actually replace the keyboard. Alright, I'm gonna put this aside. Now next you are going to actually disconnect these. Now these tabs are used to open, simply flip them up. Up again, alright? I've done that already. Now next there are several screws here. We're gonna remove this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Now after doing that, you're gonna actually take your forceps and you're gonna actually pry it into the slips here and you're gonna actually fly the tabs coming around, alright? Now the forceps are gonna actually cause the clips roll in this section to fly open. Then you're gonna actually remove the upper section. Eh? Once you do that, since all the connections are disconnected, you can actually take this off. Alright? So we are at the back over the touchpad and so on. I'm move this other way. And here we have the internals. Here you have the fan, you have the motherboard. And over here you have the R drive, which is in the strike zone, which we are interested in getting into. You'll notice there is a cable in the way, so similar to before, we're going to actually flip this thing up. See that? Easy. You're going to remove the ribbon cable, and you're going to move this out of the way. Be careful not to damage this, alright? And here we have the R drive. So what we're going to do now is simply remove this R drive from its cage. To do that, we're going to remove first this header, and we're going to remove it, alright? And we're going to use the replacement over here to actually replace that. Alright, now if you're looking over here, you'll notice a section of the board. I've already removed it, but what you're going to do here is going to take your screwdriver again. There's a single screw right here. You're going to remove that single screw. Then you're going to carefully, right, with some assistance, lift this section up. And it's going to actually remove this um, USB header and this connection port here. You can move that out of the way. Now, once you've done that, you're going to actually get something here. And you're going to actually slightly lift the hard drive. Now the hard drive will start to rise up out of its cage. Now it's in a protective cage. Now what you're going to actually do here is carefully and you can lift this up then you actually remove. Alright once you've done that and you lift up the hard drive there's a slight bit of tape here you can lift that up. Next you're going to actually use your hands and carefully press this section off right or remove it. All right? Once it gets off, you'll notice here, this is the connections on the drive. This is a SATA 2.5, um, form factor is 2.5, their big R drives is 3.5. So this is a small laptop based R drive, right? So when you're searching for a replacement, I'll put a link to the website where I'll show you where you can actually pick up this um, type of R drives, right? Now, if you notice here, it's inside of a R drive cage. What you're going to do is you're going to unscrew these two screws. Alright, once you remove those two screws, we're going to actually replace or put these, this cage onto the new hard drive, alright? Alright, so, I'm just going to remove these screws. My cutouts not in the interest of time again. So I've done that, uh, this section will just peel right off. And this is the actual cage. Alright, so one side. Oh. Alright, so um, I'm finished removing the screws. So here you go. You know, this is a plastic film with a um, with a backing for the laptop hard drive. So this is the, the damaged one. I'm going to get rid of this over here. I have the new hard drive, so I'm just going to take this, that was a 750, this is a 1 terabyte, or 1250 gigs, right? here you have your anti-static bag or shielding, so I'm going to tear the tab, brand new, alright, once you do that, I'm just move this thing, now I'm going to carefully Orient this one. Now you notice the connections are the same, All right? Basically, All right? So here it's the same brand, Western Digital. You can use any brand; doesn't really matter. Um, it all has to do with what you prefer. So I'm gonna put this back into its cage carefully. Remember, it's, it's mechanical, and you don't want to cause any unnecessary shocks. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, screw this back together. I'm going to put this back into the laptop and do whatever I did up before in reverse. All right. All right. So as I said before, um, I've now replaced. Notice everything's back. It's proper right for place. The old one is out. All right. I'm going to open that. It's up. All right. So I'm just going to do everything in reverse. Um, for this part, I'll skip out the more um, boring aspects. Make sure this is aligned. See, it snaps right in. I'm going to slide it right back into its cage. Alright, once it's inside of its cage, what you're going to do next is that you're going to actually make sure it's snug and make sure this um, connection is out of the way. You're going to basically put this back into place and you're going to screw it in right here, make the connection to the board. Alright, um, the laptop R drive is in. I've reconnected, I've placed what, the screw. Now the screw is back in. I've also reattached it over here. That's why placing it back in and flipping the lid down, make sure it's snug. Alright, now I'm going to actually come back over here and I'm going to replace the top. Alright, so fit right on. And once you set this back in place, all you're going to do here now is simply, and you have to look here where it is, then you snap the the levers down to do the same thing and once I'm sure of it I'm going to snap down the covers and then I'm going to replace the screws here, 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 here and here alright All right, so we have already replaced the screws notice the screws are back in all, right? all the essential ones I've left out this one, this one is not supposed to be screwed in so all of the holes are marked with M2.5 X3 there's a keyboard I'm gonna replace it make sure it's oriented correctly for example this is not oriented correctly space key at the base so you're gonna slide this down in the base here now it's gonna be difficult to see but I'll try to angle it as best as possible right. now I'm gonna slide this back into its tub make sure it's all the way in right. That's fine. As long as it's, this ribbon is not damaged, it should be good. And you're going to push this top down. Notice it's up now. Alright. Push it down. It's going to firm. Alright. Once it's down, it should be snug. You can tug on this a little bit. It should be even. Alright. That's it. It's now in. What you're going to do now is actually Set this back at the base here and then you're going to push this down so it's not back into place. Alright, once you do that we're going to flip over and we're going to replace this first. Alright, so I'll set it on there. Make sure it's flush and I'm going to snap this back in. You get them snap back in. The mechanism is not very lucky. Alright. Make sure it's flush. Finish this section and close this down. Flip back over to the back cover. Alright. Now, this time you can actually slide in back the DVD drive. There you go. You can even replace the battery to make sure you don't press the power button. Here we go. Mechanism is locked and locking the battery. There you go. And we can snap on the back cover. Alright, so what we're going to do here now is just the final step. I'm going to have to show you this boring part. We're actually going to take the screws and we're going to put back each screw into each hole. Alright, and once we do that and this is secured, we can flip over and then power back on the unit. Then reinstall Windows and that should be it. Remember, this video can be used to show you how to replace any part including how to replace the DVD drive, the RAM, right, the keyboard, and the laptop hard drive. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. 
and you guys have been great please remember to check out the website for the links so you can buy the hard drive and so on all right if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and as always you can share this video all right this is ricardo signing out from blog tech tips bye guys